continues tonight following the indictment charging Anne Arundel County Executive John Leopold on several counts. Residents had their chance tonight to speak out just hours after the Fraternal Order of Police voted saying they have no confidence in two community leaders. ABC 2 News Cheryl Connor joins us now. Cheryl, sounds like there was a whole lot going on at this meeting. Yeah, Kelly, that's right. Tonight they had a chance to speak to the county council following the John Leopold indictment handed down on Friday. Also, the Fraternal Order of Police is asking for changes in how the police chief is hired and fired. Several people got a turn in front of the Anne Arundel County Council following the indictment of executive John Leopold. A person of his age having sex in the parking lot, he's too cheap to afford a hotel room? <laughs> Come on. Leopold is charged with misconduct in office for using his security, Anne Arundel County police officers, to drive him to locations where he had sex with a county employee in a car to steal campaign signs and to change his urine collection bag. We live in a county that we have so much fraud and abuse in our government, it, it, it's, it's like living in a communist country. Earlier today, county police officers voted no confidence in police chief James Teer and executive Leopold. The FOP president informed the council and asked for their support to change the county charter. No police chief should be beholden to a county executive. That county executive should not have the ability to fire a police chief if the police chief stands up and says, we don't have enough police officers. The FOP president says the executive security officers thought there would be backlash if they complained to the union. But the indictment says officers went up the chain of command, including to the police chief, and no action was taken. Republican Councilman John Grasso believes both the executive and the chief have been effective. He's done everything that he said he's going to do, and he's kept his commitment to make. So I have no reason to question anything that he's done. The doubt continued to come before the council got down to business. We have a police chief that misused his office. The chief released a statement saying in part, I continue to work well with the FOP and its members. Our police agency's current leadership will always include accountability focused quality of life initiatives and problem oriented community policing that is transparent and accessible to the public, media and and the profession. Now, the county council can make recommendations, but again, they have no authority over the police chief, something the FOP hopes will change. Cheryl Connor, ABC 2 News.